Day two in the DevNet zone. Wow, Julio, tell us what's been going on. Susie, we made a bunch of announcements today at DevNet 500. I am so excited about the DevNet 500. I'm so glad Susie finally announced it. That means that the first 500 people around the world who take and pass any of the new DevNet certs will we'll know about it, we'll make a big deal about it, and I'm extra special excited about the people I get to see at Cisco Live Melbourne, because by then, the DevNet exams will be live, so if you're in Cisco Live Melbourne and you pass your exam, we want to interview you and treat you real special. I mean, there's so much going on. Now, everybody that's studying for the new certification is going to need help with resources, and SUSE also announced seven new developer centers. So we had the Service Provider Dev Center, we had the Meraki Dev Center, Networking Dev Center, Data Center Dev Center, Security Dev Center, Collaboration Dev Center, and IoT Dev Center. So many resources. This morning, Edwin had a panel here in the DevNet Zone with leaders uh, and design thinking, and of course, there's also the workshops in the design thinking area. The most important thing that we want you to know is that we take best practices from Cisco leaders and make them available to you on developer.cisco.com design thinking. What else is going on, Julio? And I had a chance to see Adam Raffer talking about Cisco DNA Center. He had a really good hands-on session. Hands-on with Cisco DNA Center Assurance APIs. And if you want to get into all the details, make sure that you read Adam's blog, blogs.cisco.com, and look for Adam Radford. So make sure that you stick around either in person or online. Thank you.